How'd it go? Huh? Last night, the pool match. Oh, we won. Oh, well done. So did Robbie. What? The boxing. Robbie hitting people. Yep, yep. Congratulations. It was Robbie in the ring. Ah, oh, you know what I mean. Listen, I think you might have got the wrong idea Listen, about Listen, I'll Robbie. see you later on, yeah? Hiya. Oh, hi. Are we still meeting up this lunchtime? Because I thought we could go up to that cafe at the high street. No, oh, sorry, there's going to be a bit of food in this lunchtime. Oh. Look, yeah, I said I'd meet some friends in the library and go over their notes. Would you have to be, though? Yeah, well, I said I would be. But... Look, maybe we'll go out tonight instead, OK? Look, I'm sorry, I'm really late. Everything OK? No. Sky's just fallen in and the world's just ended. Oh, right. Everything's fine, trust me. Yeah, I know. I know you can handle it. So when are you picking up Jesse? Well, the social worker said it go over about one o'clock. You should see Ruth. She can't sit still for two minutes. I think you're just as excited as she is. Yeah, you're right, I am. It's scary, though. One minute it's just yourself to look after the next. All this responsibility. I'll get Sarah Hills to say a prayer for you. You what? She seems to have a hotline with the Almighty. Yeah, well, Sarah takes religion very seriously, doesn't she? She's 17. She acts more like 70. Yeah, but it doesn't seem to bother Joe Wicks too much. Yeah, well, I can't get my head around that at all. Four apples, please. Morning. Yeah, morning. In fact, I'd say that they were made for each other. What? My 20 feet. I'm not interested in Joe, if that's what you think. No, oh, of course you're not. Can I join you? Sure. Or aren't you in the mood for company? Sorry? Look, it's none of my business, maybe, but uh, you do look a bit down. It's nothing. When people say that, they usually mean the opposite. I'm a good listener. I get it from my gran. She can always solve other people's problems. Do you fancy another one of those? Yeah, OK. It's just these days, I hardly see anything of her. I mean, she's always so busy at school or hanging around with her new friends. I see. We used to do almost everything together, but now... She didn't even come to my pool match last night. I just feel like... What? It doesn't matter. It's... Joe, this is obviously hurting you. Yeah, but I don't feel right. I give you my word. I won't breathe a word of what you say to anyone. I feel like I don't even know anymore. Have you told Sarah any of this? Well, how can I when I don't even see her long enough to say hello? I mean, her mind's always somewhere else recently. It seems to me that Sarah's very important to you. She is. Then you have to talk to her, however hard it might be. Find out what she really wants. Then, if her feelings have changed, you'll know. I think I've told you more in the last half an hour than I have my girlfriend in a week. And how's Claire doing? Uh, she's fine, I think. Oh, thanks, by the way. And what for? That chat the other day really helped. Right? Yeah. Are you all right? Oh, look, I'm sorry. I, I was miles away. Is there something wrong? No. Well, I haven't told anyone else yet, but... I'm thinking of moving. What? Well, I thought you liked that flat. No. Out of London. Oh. Um, look, Neil will be here a minute. Why don't we go to the cafe for a chat? The thing is, I think I found the perfect job. The money's better than I'm on here. And the personnel woman said I sounded just what they were looking for. So you're heading back up the M6, then? Don't say it like that, Nigel. Bolton isn't the other side of the world. I know. It's just, uh, I thought you were settled here, I suppose. Yeah. So did I at one time. I've made some great friends down here and I miss them all. And we special out. We wouldn't lose touch. You and Claire can come up and stay any time you wanted. But this isn't my home. I've got a nice house in Bolton. My mum's up there and so are Joe's old friends. Joe seems pretty settled here, mind you. Yeah, but I think he still sees Bolton as his home. Whenever things are tough for him, he always ends up back at me mum's. So what does he think about all this? To tell you the truth, I haven't discussed it with him. Not yet. He's got an assessment coming up next week, and I want him to get that over and done with first. But if everything's OK, and it's what he wants... Then it's Bolton. Here we come. Yeah. Hi. You remember, then? What? Who I am. No, I'm sorry about this lunchtime, Joe. But... Yeah, no, it's cool. I suppose we could go tonight, like you said. Unless you've got something else to do. I've had enough of this. Joe. Just forget it, sir, all right? What does that mean? Well, what's the point of me explaining? You never have time to listen anyway. Joe? Can I come in? 
come in. Look, what is this, Joe? Please? I think we need to talk. What? I mean, you... I reckon we're through. I don't understand. I just don't see any point going on. Why? Is this going to happen sooner or later anyway? So one of us may as well do something about it now, eh? And why will this happen? Well, look at last night. That was an important night for me, sir. And where were you? At school. Oh, I explained about that. Being at school is more important than being with me. What? This dinner time. Staying on was more important than seeing me. That's not true. Then why do you spend all your time there, then? Have you met someone else? No. I just never see you, that's all. I mean, you spend so much time with your friends. I'm doing you a favour, and you can spend all your time with your friends now, can't you? And you really think that's what I want? You've changed. I have not! All right, so I'm spending a lot of time in school, but that hasn't changed the way I feel about you. Doesn't seem like that. So, what do you want me to do? Leave school? Of course not. I've just started my levels. I mean, what do you expect me to do? If you're not in love with me anymore, then I've got no choice. But I'm not going to let you go just because of some stupid misunderstanding. You're getting further and further away from me. I am not. I'm serious about you. Yeah, it's all right saying that, isn't it? OK. So what do I have to do to prove it? Well? Do you love me? Of course I do. Enough to spend the rest of your life with me? Well... Yes or no, Sarah? Yes. So marry me. Do you want kids? What? No, I don't mean right now. I mean in the future when you're ready. Do you see yourself with a family? Well, I've never really thought about it. I have. It's weird. You know when you were saying about your sixth form? No. I just had this image in my head about my kids going to school. And um, what did you say? There's two kids. It's a brother and a sister. But the brother's a couple of years older, but he's not nasty or anything. He just he looks out for her. Do they look like you? Well, they'll both be gorgeous, yeah. <laughs> You're outrageous. Why? It's in the genes. <laughs> yeah, haven't you ever heard of skipping a generation? Yeah, I suppose. <laughs> it happened to you, didn't it? How dare you? I'm joking. <laughs> I am joking. You are the most beautiful woman sat at this table. Don't push your luck. I love you. Yeah, say it slowly and I'll forgive you. I love you. Again? Now you're pushing it. <laughs> so, you're going to stop avoiding me now? I wasn't. I was just playing hard to get. What? Well, I could only take so much of your big-headed comments. I am not big-headed. Well, maybe a little bit. Mm, fortunately, you're worth it. 